So it's the rattly sound of the snare that we're going to replicate with our own upcycled drum. And keep in mind, you can swap out any of the materials used um, depending on what you have at home. You don't have to use exactly the ones we show you here today. So you can explore with different materials and try and create an instrument you really like. So first, you're going to just draw around your lid on a piece of card. So it's important because it depends on the shape of your tin. You can use any tin or box, absolutely fine. You can see mine's like an octagon type shape. Once you've drawn round, you're going to cut it out. And this will sit on top of your lid. You can put it on the underside, um, but it'll probably achieve a better sound if it's on top. Then pour some paper clips you know, 20, 30 or so, pour that onto your lid. You could also use rice, you could use pasta smashed up into pieces, just something that's gonna rattle and reverberate. And then you're just gonna place your card on top, like so. And then you're gonna tape around and stick your card to the lid. If you want to make your drum a bit more durable, this is the optional step. You can use some duct tape and stick your duct tape across the whole of the card so it creates a sort of drum skin. But again, that is completely optional. Just make your drum last a little bit longer. So here you can see I've duct taped my card so it looks like a drum skin. And all I'm gonna do now is place that on top of the paper clips and then using my sellotape and scissors, I'm gonna tape all around each edge and stick it to the drumlet. So it should look something like this. And just make sure the tape is right against the lid so um, your rice or paper clips don't get stuck in the sticky bit. And then you're just going to pop the lid back on the box like so. And there you go. A really cool little durable snare. And you can decorate it further. You could paint it, you could use glitter, wrapping paper, you could use colorful tape, whatever you want to do, or you can just leave it like this so it looks truly authentic and upcycled. So thank you for watching. If you want to learn how to make more drums from things you've got lying around the house, you can find all our videos on YouTube or our website. And we'll see you at the next session. For all information on Tune In with the Katumba, including activities, timetable, and how you can get involved, check out our website at www.katumba.co.uk forward slash tune hyphen in.